Hello everybody, this is Kyle of Church on a Budget PH and in this video, I will teach you the basics of our lighting system right here which is just a regular DMX controller na basic lang, not fancy at all but it does the job for us. If you want to learn more about this, then check the video out. Let's go! Now, the first thing that you need to have in your basic lighting system is your lighting fixture. In our church now, we have here 24 lighting fixtures, 4 frontal lights, and then 2 supplement dun sa stage namin na um, amber white na light so that our people here sa stage can be seen by the congregants. And then we have 18 na RGBW lights, uh, just some uh, ambient lights for us to play around with and some backlights din. And you can see that dun sa likod. So it's very hot in here. I'm sweating. But it's okay. I'm doing this for you. <laughs> So that's number one, your light fixtures. A uh, basic lighting fixture that you need are amber lights. So ito yung mga lights natin dito. It's, it looks like, you know, heaven right here. But this is the light that lights up your subject dito sa front. And then your ambient lights or backlights or any RGBW lights to just create some emotions and set the tone for your um, service, no? The creative side of lighting. <laughs> so that's it. In this case, we use washes lang. Kasi ito yung pinaka-basic na lighting system na kailangan lang namin sa system na to, sa setup na to. So we love them and we like, like working with them for now, for now. Soon na yung mga beams and the moving heads. That will come soon. But for now, we're good with that. So, number one, lighting fixtures. Number two, what you need is a lighting controller. A lighting controller is just like an audio mixer or yung mixing console sa sound na perspective. If audio is to lighting fixture, then your mixer is to your lighting controller. So, ganyan siya. Ganyan yung equation niya. Your lighting fixtures are there, no? Th these are good things, but it has to have a brain that controls it. And that is where your lighting controller comes into play. We use here just a basic DMX controller. We can control our lighting fixture well with ease kasi yun lang naman yung control niya ngayon. And these are basic lights that we use here. So that's number two. It's very important to note no, um, that in audio, your channels are called channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4, channel 5. In lighting, you use the term scanners. So scanner 1, scanner 2, scanner 3, scanner 4, 5, 6, until how many scanners your um, DMX controller can have. No? Now, in lighting system, it's very important that you learn how to set up your lighting fixture na magmamatch siya sa scanner niyo. So how do you do that? If you want to control your lights using scanner 1, then go to the back side of your lighting fixture and set it up until na maging D001 siya. D stands for DMX control. Tapos yung 001 is actually the code that tells the lighting fixture na okay, scanner 1 ka. Now, yung gaps neto is by 16. If you want to go to scanner 2, then just add 16. So, 1 plus 16 equals 17. So, if you want to assign your lights to scanner number 2, then set it up to D017. If you want it to go to scanner 3, then you choose uh, 17 plus 16, that is um, 33. So, D033 and so on and so forth. So, you can assign your lighting fixture to a certain scanner para mas makontrol mo siya with ease na talagang naka-set ka just like your audio mixer and all. Now, let's go to our lighting controller and I will show you the basics of our system right there. Let's go! This is our basic DMX controller as you can see here. This is such a basic controller, no? Siguro may ganito na kayo sa church ninyo. If you do not have one, then you might uh, want to buy this kind of DMX controller. For a start, you know, this is where everyone begins. Uh, lahat ng basics na features na kailangan nyo for a controller is already right here. Very important things na nasa controller na to or is number one, your faders. Ito siya. This will be your control. And then uh, another thing are the scenes. Okay, so you can actually assign scenes. Uh, para parang presets na siya para nakasave na yung gusto mong scene sa part ng song kunwari yung scene 1 is our intro so ibang scene yung intro natin scene 2 is yung verse eto yung pre-chorus, chorus and, and things like that so I will try changing it so that may nakikita kayo so eto yung nangyayari, scene 1 eto yung scene 1 natin scene 2 ayun, so automatic na siya na on yung front lights natin and then scene 3 
Ayun, dim ulit. Scene 4. On yung light doon. Okay. And then scene 5. It changes to red. Scene 6 is total blackout. And then... Okay, balik tayo sa scene 2. <laughs> Alright. So that's basically it. How about scanners? Etong scanners na to, this is where you assign your lighting fixtures. So sa scanner 1, we have here label. Ito yung amber white namin dito sa scanner 1. So that when I click this one, okay, nako control ko using this faders yung fixture number 1 namin which is in this case etong front lights natin etong faders na to are actually based lang sa lighting fixture niyo so in our case no these two faders right here are assigned to the amber and the white na feature ng lighting fixture namin kasi yung etong lights namin na to these right here are actually amber white par led lights so etong fader number 1 controls the amber of the light Tapos etong fader number 2 is yung white ng light na to. So, as you can see, fader 1, amber, fader 2, white. And then, ang ginagamit namin dito is we mix both of them so that we can achieve uh, the colors that we want. So, nakokontrol lang namin siya dito sa faders na to. In this case, etong scanner number 1. How about scanner number 2? Yung scanner number 2 namin is assigned to the amber white na uh, LED light dito sa ano namin sa stage namin. So etong light na to, etong nakikita niyo dito, that is the light right there. Okay? So same sila dito sa side. It actually has another light then. So yung controls naman nito is different kasi it has four faders. So uh, parang amber, white, amber, tsaka white ulit. So amber, white, then amber, and then white ulit. So, it has more power, pero um, yung trade-off nito is, um, if, if it's too close to the speaker or to the subject, medyo masakit to sa mata ng subject. So, um, this is just for supplement naman sa front lights namin dito. Now, let's go on to our scanner number 3. Our scanner number 3 is our RGBW na back. Okay, so back LED lights. In this case, um, okay, yung back one natin, yun. Yung dalawa natin dyan. Okay? Pati dito sa side na to. Okay. Now, how do we control this? In this case, no? Uh, eto yung parang main niya. Yung parang master niya na fader. And then, dito sa side na to, we actually put a label. Eto controls the red. This controls the green. This controls the blue. And the white. Right here. So, pag kinontrol namin to, okay? Red, green, blue, and white. So that, as you can see there, now control niya lahat. So, on, off natin yung blue. So, red, green, and then blue, and then white. Okay? And then, same then dito sa ibang scanners natin. In this case, may back din tayo. Dalawa, dalawa natin tong pinair. So, etong scanner 4 naman is for those other two. Okay? So, pinair lang namin siya so that um, may control kami sa dalawang yun. And then, the next here is yung RGBW na stage. So, pag kinlik mo yun, it does the same controls. Okay? RGBW pa rin dito. And then, eto pa rin yung parang master niya. So, when I turn that on and off, okay? Yun yung nasa stage namin na light. Okay? So, um, red. Uh, off muna natin lahat. Ayun. So, it's red. Green, blue, and then white. So naikita nyo, this is such a basic system natin dito sa lighting. Now, punta tayo sa paggawa ng scenes. Kasi, these are very important din. This will help you know, have presets sa ginagawa mo. So, if you want to program scenes, no, you need to press this. Long press mo yung program mode na yan. Okay? And then, that will show right there. Nagbi-blink siya. Meaning, nasa program mode tayo. Now, in this case, punta tayo sa bank um, 25 kasi empty yun. Para hindi magalit yung technician natin. Light technician kasi bakit na bago yung mga presets niya. <laughs> now, in this case, gusto ko sa scene 1 ko is backlights lang. Stage. So, um, i-on ko to. Scanner 5. On ko yan. Tapos, let's go with the red. Right here. Okay, so gusto ko ng red dito. And then, I will save that. 
dito sa ad na to. So, when I click this and then click the scene, that means na-save na siya dito sa scanner natin. So, move on tayo. So, I want sa scene 2 natin, I want it to go na um, on tayo dito sa amber led natin, sa frontal. So, on natin tong dalawang to. Ayun, I want that. So, red pa rin yung back. But, this time, may frontal siya. So, dito, a-add ko siya. I press add. And then, gusto ko siyang maging scene 2. Now, you have two scenes. So, scene 1. Okay, off yung frontal. Stage lang. And then, scene 2. On yung frontals. And then, on din yung stage. So, again, scene 1. And then, scene 2. Okay. By just one click of a button right here, now control mo siya kaagad. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the basic setup of our lighting system here at Church. I hope you like it just like we love it, you know. Let me know what you think and comment them down below. Let me know your suggestions, what kind of lighting systems you use. And please don't forget to lay your hands on that subscribe button so that you won't miss anything that I will be posting soon and very soon until Jesus comes. This is Kyle of Church and a Budget PH that aims to help churches become efficient and effective. Thank you, everybody, and... Peace.